welcome to my class but before today's class if you are new to my channel then click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell icon as you will get notification when i upload my videos so in my previous class we learned about roman numerals students in this class we will learn about the bond mass rule are you excited to learn this okay so let's get started okay then what do you know about the bond mass rule yes the bond mass rule is the order of operations to make sure that we always get same answer by performing arithmetic operations we use the bond mass rule the bond mass rule says the order in which the operations need to be used okay then now you got about the bond mass rule but what is the full form of the bond mass yes so i'll teach you that so bond mass b o d m a s bond mass so b for brackets it looked like this and there are so many brackets other than this next is o order and its sign is of d for division i think you know the sign yes next m is multiplication a to a is for addition plus sign and s is for subtraction we will write the minus sign so why we are performing these arithmetic operations we use the bond mass rule in that we will give the first priority to brackets second priority to order third priority priority to division fourth priority to multiplication fifth priority to addition and the sixth priority to subtraction so now let us solve some problems practice question solve the following questions using bond mass first question 15 plus 8 divided by 2 minus 2 into 5 in the bracket. Okay. How to solve this? We will give the first priority to brackets. So we should write 15 plus 8 divided by 2 minus. What is there in the bracket? 2 into 5. What is 2 into 5? 2 5s are 10. so i will write 10 and i will remove the brackets as i have written the answer here next what is the next step yes next priority is for division so we will do 15 plus 8 divided by 2 is 4 Priority is to addition. Fifteen plus four is nineteen minus ten. Now we have nineteen minus ten. That is nothing but nine, and the final answer is nine. Next, second question: thirty-six minus two plus eight into Nineteen minus seven in the bracket. Okay, first priority is to the bracket. Thirty-six minus two plus eight into nineteen minus seventeen is two. Next, we should do multiplication. So thirty-six minus two plus Eight into two, that is nothing but sixteen. Next priority is for 
addition. So, 36 minus 2 plus 16 is 18. And lastly, 36 minus 18 is 18. And the final answer we got is 18. Next, third question. 5 into 5 in the bracket minus 6 divided by 2 in the bracket minus 5. So now we have two brackets. So let's solve the first bracket now. So 5, 5 is up. That is 25 minus 6 divided by 2 in the bracket minus 5. Next we should solve the second bracket. 25 minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 minus 5. So, 25 divide, 25 subtracted by 3. We will get 22. 22 minus 5. We will get 17. Wait a minute. We got 22. So we will write 22 minus 5. We will get 17. And the final answer is 17. Next we have the fourth question. 19 plus 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5. Divided by 5 in the bracket into 3. First we should solve the bracket. But in the bracket we have two operations. Subtraction and division. Should we do subtraction first or division first? Yes. Always our first priority is to division. So we will do the division one. So... 19 plus 3 minus 15 divided by 5 is 3 in the bracket into 3. Now we should perform the bracket. 19 plus 3 minus 3 is 0 into 3. Now we should do multiplication. So 19 plus 3 zeros are 0. At last we have addition and the answer is 90. 19 plus 0 is nothing but 19 itself. Next we have the last question that is 70 minus 12 into 3 minus 5. First we will do multiplication. 70 minus 12 threes are 36 minus 5. So, 70 minus 36 minus 5. 70 minus 36 we will get 34 minus 5. If we subtract 5 from 34, we will get 29. And our final answer is 29. So students, today we learnt the Balmas rule and solved some questions. I will tell you to practice this more. Thank you. Bye and happy learning.